Hey guys, so Ryan and I just got back from Underwood Family Farms. We went there, picked up some tomatoes, yellow squash, strawberries, raspberries, and some other fun items. So I'm just currently washing them and I thought it would be really fun to share with you five gadgets that I absolutely love using in my kitchen and that I personally find to be really helpful for me. Kitchen gadgets don't necessarily mean that they work better, but there are some gadgets that I do find that save me a lot of time in the kitchen. Usually in my kitchen, I am making recipes on this channel. I have a whole entire playlist called Kaylee's Kitchen, so if you haven't seen some of those videos, definitely go check them out because I love cooking in the kitchen and it makes me so happy to cook food for my friends and my family and to learn things. I've been on such a learning kick lately. I am currently learning how to make sourdough bread, so stay tuned because that's gonna be in a future vlog. But yeah, all right, so let's get started. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It would mean the world to me. It really, truly does. Every time you guys subscribe, comment, like, it makes me so happy. So let's talk about gadget number one. Now, if you're absolutely avocado obsessed like I am, you're going to want this tool. This is a one and done tool for your avocados. You have like this knife at the end, and in the center here, this is really the game changer. Honestly, I would have just bought this just to have this if these two suck. This gets out the pit of your avocado and usually when I tried to get out the pit in the past, I would like smack it down, the avocado would slide everywhere, I would miss the seed. I mean, it was just a disaster and Ryan's like, you're gonna cut your finger off one day. Someone actually recommended this to me on my Instagram so I thought I would give it a try. I use this part and this part the most. I don't necessarily really ever use this because I don't necessarily like to scrape out my avocado. So how I I use this is I take my knife to cut open the avocado and then I use the seed pitter just smack it on top and turn it around and it'll pop right out and then you just hit your little tool up against the trash can and the seed will pop right into the trash can. You can use this end of the avocado tool to kind of scrape out your avocado. I personally don't love that. It, it's up to you, it's preference. I like to go in back with a knife and I like to cut around it, take my time. I mean, I'm not usually in a rush to cut my avocado. This is just really nice because you can just clean it all at once. Definitely recommend this pretty dang cheap. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it from OXO. Uh, there's a lot of places you can pick this up. I'm sure your local TJ Maxx or Home Goods, you can pick it up from there. I mean, I wasn't going to cut an avocado and not make guacamole with you guys. I wanted to share with you my little trick and it's super easy how I make my guac. It's only two ingredients, obviously avocado and this vegan chickenless seasoning salt from Trader Joe's with salt, onion powder, turmeric, and garlic powder. I know this sounds weird, but for some reason, it just works, it's delicious. Ryan absolutely loves it, which is nice. And you just sprinkle some on. Eyeball it and then just mix it all together and you got your guac, get some chips. Tool number two, my frothing machine. If you have been following me for quite some time, you know that I use this in a lot of my vlogs. I love this little machine because all you do is there's two separate buttons here. You have the low speed and the high speed and what this will do when you turn it on, froth away. I love to use these in my matcha lattes, my lavender lattes, my turmeric lattes. It is so easy. All you have to do is just put this at the bottom of your milk and let it start frothing away on its own. And you can pick the speed you want. I know that Neopresso has a really good frother as well. I just don't really need something that fancy that heats everything up and all that. Maybe one day I will, but I love how portable this is. It really gets the job done if you want a frothy little drink or if you just need things to be mixed quickly, like my protein shakes I use this in. I have a little glow packet that I like to put into my water in the morning and if I need it to quickly get blended together I use this instead of like a spoon or a fork something like that but this really just does the trick to do a lot of mixing and frothing oh and super affordable as well I am all about having affordable products and every one of these products are going to be super affordable now for this handy dandy tool this looks like a fun little toy but really it's an herb cutter. So what you're gonna do here is you take the blades, you put your herbs on your cutting board, and you just start rolling it out. So you're gonna take your tool and you're just gonna start rubbing it back and forth, and then it's gonna just start cutting up your cilantro, whatever herb you have, and you keep going side to side, back and forth, and it will create the perfect chopped herb. Oh, it smells so good. Fresh cut herbs just smell amazing. Look at that. 
perfectly cut up. Now I can go toss that in my guacamole that I just made. In this household, we absolutely love to have a lot of herbs and spices and seasonings to just flavor our foods. We try to be as healthy as possible and in order to not keep our foods tasting bland, we love to incorporate these herbs and spices. Sometimes it can be therapeutic to pick my rosemary or pick out my dill slowly. If you're in a pickle or if you're in a rush and friends are coming over quicker than you expected, what I found to be super handy is this little herb peeler. This handy dandy tool I found on the Food Network's TV show called The Kitchen. And all you do is you take your herbs in through these holes and they will automatically peel it off from the stem. And then as your herbs are peeling away from the stem, it will pop right into this little bowl to catch all of your herbs and you can put it right into your other bowl wherever you're making your sauces. Honestly, all of these items are really small. They could all fit into a little drawer. And I live in a studio apartment, so I know about making space for a lot of stuff and I don't have any problems storing these items. Now, I usually use this for my rosemary because I find that it works best for rosemary and I hate peeling the rosemary, so I'm just showing you what it does. It's not going to work with the cilantro because the cilantro is too thin and flimsy to it will just pop right through but you pop it through the hole right there and then you'll slowly peel it like that and then it will pull and pop it into here but since again this is so flimsy it just goes right through the hole but since rosemary is super thick it needs to be snapped off of the branch or the stem and then it pops right into your little bowl right here. I wish I had some fresh rosemary, but I don't have any on hand. Sorry guys. And lastly, the Vegetti. You may ask, well, what is a Vegetti? That's a weird name. Trust me, I know. I was thinking the same thing. What you might have heard of is a spiralizer, and that is a really large machine that can spiralize, it's in the name, any of your vegetables, like your carrots, your squash, your zucchini. It will make them into spiral circles. There's whole entire books about it. It's a, it's a way of life, as they say. I don't have space for a spiralizer as much as I would love one. I hear they're fabulous. I just don't have the space. So I picked up the Vegetti, and it's essentially the same thing, just smaller and a lot, a lot cheaper. This is a little bit pricier, though, I think, for something that is so small. But since it is from Bed Bath & Beyond, not Bath & Body Works. I always call it Bath & Body Works. They just sound super similar. It is at Bed Bath & Beyond, and Bed Bath & Beyond has a really good coupon, usually. They send it in the mail if you can't get one they usually have one online i think it's 15 or 20 percent off and you can just use it on this and then it's definitely worth your buck so on each end here you have one side for thick noodles and the other side for thin noodles i typically like to go with the thicker noodles because i like mine a little bit more al dente especially when it comes to squash squash can get a little bit watery so all you do is you take your zucchini and you pop it into one end of the vegetti you start turning your squash your carrots and to serve and it starts pushing it out through the other end. There is a little catch where it leaves the excess of like the skin. You can still use that and you don't have to throw it out, but it will leave a little bit of extra clumps throughout just because it's the outside of the vegetable you're turning. There are little sharp ends, so you have to be really careful. You don't want to cut yourself. There will be a point where you have to stop towards the middle of the vegetti because you don't want to turn too close to the blade. But after that, you just pop it into the bowl and then you can make whatever recipes you want with it. You can find a lot of spiralized things at Trader Joe's. I noticed they had the carrot spirals. I think they got retired though. And then the zucchini spirals. The thing about the frozen spirals at Trader Joe's, it definitely contains a lot more water. So when you have that fresh zucchini that you just spiralized, it doesn't have as much. And you don't have to worry that will become an extra problem in your recipe. So fresh is best. Yes, frozen is nice and convenient, but if you can spiralize fresh, I would definitely recommend this. And if you live in a small space, absolutely recommend this one. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is something that's kind of new to my channel. I've never talked about like items in my kitchen. I do a lot of product reviews and I talk about a lot of items, but I've never like rounded up certain things. So if you like this kind of video, let me know down below. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I will definitely leave all of these items in the description box below. So if you want to check them out for yourself, I won't get a percentage or anything. I don't have that power. I don't have like affiliate links or anything. So I'm just going to share them just to share them because I want to and I think they're great. Now, if you have any cool gadgets that you think I might need, I do still have some fun things around the kitchen, but I kind of wanted to narrow it down. Let me know though, because I'm always looking to make my time well spent and sometimes gadgets just do the trick. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.